Part three: Editing of various component. Edit the component after the new mode is completed. First, open the teach mode in working mode and remove tick on FOV center. The image on the left is FOV image, and the PCB image is on the right. Then start drawing component. Click R to select resistance. Press and hold the left mouse button from one corner of the body to another. The pet cell, silk screen cell, and the body cell will be automatically generated. After drawing, adjust the size of each cell until it fits. Then select the component. Right click and select Ins Component to Library. Enter the part code or use the system default name. Click OK. After insert into library, if you have the same component on the PCB, you can right click the drawn component and select copy library to same ones. Left click until you have copied all same components. For different models or size components, draw it as described above. Next, make a capacitor. Click on the C, use the body as standard, draw one corner to a diagonal. After drawing, the pet cell, body cell, mid color cell automatically generated. Then adjust the size of each box appropriately. Right click and select the component to library. If the same capacitor is used, copy to according to the above method. If it is different, another cell is required. Next, make the diode. Select the D and draw it from the corner of body to another. It is also divided into two pet cells, a silk printed cell and a body cell, and then adjust the size of each cell to appropriate, then put into library.
Then make the child select the three lead. Adjust the size of each box and then put into library. Just copy the box to the same component and draw a new one for different ones. Then I see use bridge to draw cell on all the sold pins. If there is white silk on the PCB next to cell, avoid to include it in the cell. After cell drawn, click to enter property screen, then open the bridge setting. If there are pins that are not clearly divided, you can divide them by adjusting the segment threshold to divide clearly. Click lead div, select the standard pin and draw cell on it. Click lead rack. After generating the pins, a pin cell will appear for each pin. Then click OK, save and exit. On the other side of IC, use the same method. When drawing a cell, this polarity arrow generally points to the body. If the polarity is wrong, modify it here. For the six screens, use PS to draw cell. Open the property screen, change algorithm to OCV. Default is region method. Then adjust the brightness and contrast of the property screen until clear. Select all three cells. Right click and select Merge Component put into library. After entering the library, select the standard pin from each side of the pins. Right click and select IC Share Entry. Then use the above method to finish all the components on the PCB.
When all the components are done, click on A Kit in Library. Then all components not yet in library will be auto stored in library. After all components within a sub PCB are in library, copy the sub PCB to others. Click select all. Mouse move to the position where there is component and right click to copy. Can copy 0 degrees and 180 degrees. After copying, place it in the appro approximate position of other sub PCBs. Left click on actual image on the left and drag a component until aligned. 1 copy 2, 2 copy 4, 4 copy 8. Copy to complete all sub PCBs and click Pass Optimization. Then the camera's running route will come out. And then check if all components are at accurate position. If there is an offset, move the camera one by one to the FOV center point and press the shortcut key F8 to align the component position. Then click the file to save and the component editing is completed.